Hey everyone and welcome back to Upload the Download and today I'm going to be showing you how you might be able to fix an issue you may be having with Adobe Premiere and DX Tori footage. So here is Adobe Premiere and in it is a gameplay video recorded using DX Tori with a DX Tori video codec. For some strange reason, while editing certain parts of the video, Adobe Premiere completely shuts down. There's no error message, no bug report. Premiere just closes unexpectedly. The problem is that Premiere has issues with DX Tori's video codec, so to fix it, we need to find a new lossless video codec for DX Tori to use. There are many online, however I recommend you use the Lagareth lossless codec. On the Lagareth website, link in the description, download and run the installer. You may need to restart your computer after installing the codec. Once you've done that, open up DX Tori and head over to the Video tab. In the drop-down list, change your codec to the Lagareth lossless codec, and then click on the configure button. These settings are really up to you. I, however, have enabled null frames and used multi-threading ticked, and the mode set to YV12. Now any gameplay footage you record from this point on with DX Tori won't randomly crash Adobe Premiere. But what about the footage you've already recorded that you're trying to edit? In order to edit up footage that has already been recorded with the DX Tori codec, it'll have to be converted first. You can do this using a program called Virtual Dub. Download Virtual Dub and keep it with you. It's an amazing piece of software. In order to convert your footage, open up Virtual Dub, click on Video, and then Normal Recompress. Click on Video again, and click on Compression. From the list, choose Lagareth Lossless Codec. Click on the Configure button, and choose the exact settings you used in DX Tori. Click OK, and now you're ready to batch process. Go File, Q Batch Operation, and Batch Wizard. Choose the location that you want to save the converted files to, and then drag in the files you wish to convert. Then press Add to Queue, Resave as AVI, and click OK. To start the queue, click on File, then Job Control, and press Start. Depending on how much footage you have, this process could take a large amount of time. But once it's done, your footage should be fine to edit in Premiere. Just make sure you rename the footage and bring it in as a fresh clip in your edit. Well, there we go. Hope this video has helped you out. If you have any further questions, ask me in the comment section below or send them at me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. Keep in mind I'm one person, so I might not be able to respond right away. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.